Hello guys, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay guys, this is uh, video number five for the Sniffy Kiffy group build. She's pretty much uh, on her way right now, getting finished up, guys. I've uh, I applied the last uh, color of paint on I painted some silver on this thing, aluminum. And uh, what I did is I did that so I could be able to show the real true shade of aluminum when we do my free shading. So at this stage of construction, guys, it's all, the airplane virtually been well finished, except the uh, naturally her clothes are on. But uh, construction-wise, I always put the undercarriage on last because I don't afraid I want to break. It's very delicate. I figured out how the undercarriage goes on the bottom of the wing of this uh, of the tiffy here. It's it's very uh, uh, it's fragile, very fragile. It's for a lot of weight. This thing is a very heavy airplane, and any pressure hit the wrong way you can snap those snap those wheel, wing struts without the wings and you'll you'll uh, so it's best uh make sure to display this thing away from yourself away from harm's way away from everything and uh it'll get broke if, it, if it's if it's in your way so you gotta caution that this thing is a very tight fitting airplane guys with all the uh with all the, uh, the 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 interior details that, that was built in first of this kit, and it uh, adds a lot of pressure on the outside of the skins of the the wings and the fuselage and such. And uh, it does it to it. It uh, it's just a very tight fit. So you got to be cautious of that, guys. It's very tight, especially around the engine. Um. And on the instruction manual, they show you all kinds of ways of displaying the engine and everything like that. You can really do some, take exact little bit of blade, you gotta cut out some extra panels like out of the fuselage, reveal the whole engine and everything. I, I didn't go that route, so I just went ahead and left the, uh, the side panels off so you can see the sides of the engine, also the underneath part of the air scoops at when it goes to the superchargers everything. And uh, so I gave her uh, a good coat of, of aluminum paint. And yeah, we'll go ahead and put the, the skins on, the colors on it. Okay, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Boy, science is terrible. We'll take a look at her. As far as I got, guys, right here. I got a prop all done. It's a big-ass prop right here, I'll tell you that. That's a big one. The spinner's going to be all blue. It turns. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this blue, and it's going to have the uh, the shark mouth version of this airplane. And it, uh, it's a very, very detailed airplane, guys. I kid you not, this thing here really, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's built from the inside out. And like I said at the beginning of the video, fellas, you got to be sure when you put your when you put the skins on, this thing is very tight because everything is compresses against the skins. And you really got to clamp down. So the best way I assemble the fuselage and everything using using my Crylite glue, my uh, ACC or super glue, whatever it is, whatever your choice. Because uh, that's my, that's a, that glue right there is a lot more stronger than that Tamiya glue they give you. Because, like I say, everything is tight inside this thing. And it pushes up against the skins and it makes the the the, uh, the assembly very difficult. You gotta have clamps to hold down the stuff. So the best method of that, guys, is go ahead and get yourself some ACC, put it on very liberally, not very much, and be sure to wear protective uh, uh, nose and eyes uh, gear while applying glue. You don't want that stuff in your face or in your lungs. So wrap this video. I'm gonna go ahead and do some pre shading on this thing now. I went down to the store. I looked around for the paint boy. I got a whole bunch of paint, guys. I don't like going through all the piles of paint that I've got. I'm about as disorganized as this, as disorganized means. I went down to uh, to my hobby shop, Smitty's Hobby Shop, and got these humble tins. I got the appropriate colors. I got the uh, the light gray, and also the uh, mid uh, sea gray, wherever it is. And uh, the olive drab they calls for it, all three primary colors. And I went ahead and go ahead and added the, uh, the aluminum on there. Well, I appreciate it. When a appreciate goes through, you see a little bit of aluminum on there, which you were made from. 
So I got these tanks down there, so these are going to go on. I'm going to appreciate my, my panel lines, let it dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the finishing colors. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and paint the pilot and put him in position. And uh, he'll be, he be good to go. And uh, so I'm going to rub this airplane down. After the little one dries, I'm going to rub it down real good with some cheesecloth. And smooth that really well. Go ahead and start doing the pre shading and uh, add the colors to it. This thing is a very, very, uh, very, very detailed model to say these guys. I think it's probably one of the best Airfix kits that I've ever seen that, that they produced. And it's a very costly one of that. Oh, yeah. I talk about costly one. I went uh, look at eBay for some more ship fittings. I came across two of these 124 scale. Hawker uh, Typhoons or Tiffies. And they had one for $59. And they had one for $99.99. It's a man, God, these things are not that, not, not that expensive on eBay. I was thinking about getting me another one. And uh, I, I probably will. I like think like that one was a car door version or something like that. I think they had a car door version of the Tiffy. I'm quite sure they did. And uh, she, she was a tank buster of an airplane. Very beautiful airplane she was, the Tempe was. The, the successor to the Tempest. And uh, she's a beautiful airplane, guys. I mean, I, I love this. Uh, this plane is it just detail is like, oh, get up and go. I've never seen so much detail in my life in this thing. They, they've done a good job. Okay, guys. Uh, while well, this thing is drying, I'm going to upload the video and I'm going to do the pre shading on it. And once I finish the Typhoon, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start working on the Titanic. Get it shaking down. I got a lot of stuff I need to be got, get going, guys. I got the Atlantic over there going. I'll, I'll finally get her going and everything. And, and I got the little SC5 behind me shaking down pretty well. And I'm going to fart around side mounts back there a little bit. So I'll probably be bringing that out of the closet next for you guys to look at, and uh, I'm going to start building. So far, my priorities right now is to get this Tepio done and finished, get it out of the way so I can concentrate all my time on my Gomex on one two hundred scale RMS Titanic. Okay, guys, this final build is going to be in this. It's going to probably going to be uh, it's going to be Tuesday. It's going to probably be uh, this Wednesday. This Wednesday afternoon will be the final reveal for this, and my end of the uh, of the Sniffy Tippy Group build will be concluded. And I'll post some pictures on Facebook and for Martin to uh, to upload on his uh, special page that he has. And uh, and Martin's doing a, a very very superb job on his. I imagine as I'm speaking right now, making this video, he's probably done with his. So I look forward to going to uh, everybody to, his, to the final reveal for his uh, Tempe. It'll probably come your way real soon. Now, I imagine he's about finished now. And uh, be all these builds I got myself involved with kind of put me a lot behind my time on my Tempe. But six months is a long time. It'll take six months to build one of these. But it allowed me time to finish up a few things and get things started and everything. So right now, my time and uh, devotion right now goes on this Tiffy right here. And I went down and got me um, some cardboard and maybe a special box. I'm going to put this in when I get done. I'm going to box it up. And uh, when you box these things up, guys, it's always good, especially on this model here, is get yourself some uh, styrofoam. It could be a one-inch styrofoam, blue foam board, whatever there is. And kind of glue it on top of your box and have your wing rest right on top of it, away from the uh, ordnance or the, the undercarriage. And uh, it'll give it some kind of a protection for the undercarriage. Like I say, it don't take much to snap this undercarriage. Like, when I see what they did, the, the, the only old struts were, were, were uh, made in hands. You glue them, they got a hole in the bottom of it. And they slide right through the locating pan underneath the wings where they come out, where the landing gear struts go at. And believe you me, it don't take much to snap those off. So you got to be very, very careful. That's the only thing I can really caution about, guys. Is be very that line of carriage is very, very fragile. And all it takes a, a little hit like this, or something to fall on, and smacko, your undercarriage is destroyed. You got to reglue it again and everything else, and it's not fun. 
This is a heavy airplane. I wish they could have reinforced that landing gear with wire. Uh, they at least made some resin la uh, landing gear struts for the thing or something so it's stronger to support the weight of this aircraft. That's my only, uh, only beef I can say about it for the Airfix kit is they can at least uh, reinforce the other carriage to, to be able to hold the weight of this airplane. Because anybody's got this kit, got this model, and uh, the nose that old Frankie Day's talking about, this, this is a very heavy machine. Very heavy with all the engine components and the parts of, this, of, the, of the inside of this airplane adds weight. And that's very, very heavy, so you got to be very careful with the other carriage. Okay, that's enough of that. Get back to me again here, and I'll finish up the vid here. Okay, guys, uh, this, like I said, this Wednesday, the final reveal will be on the Typhoon. And uh, they get shaken with the RMS Titanic. I got the stern done a long time ago, and uh, so right now I'm laying, the, laying down the hull plates of the Titanic. I got the starboard side to do next, and after that, I got to put the bilge keel on it. The wing screws, the center prop, the rudder, the hose lip, the anchor, and do a little cosmetic work on it here and there. And uh, half that, this top side on the deck work from the folks, will work daft. And there's going to be a long, long build in the Titanic. It may be a beautiful ship when I get finished with her. Especially how it made paper. It's a lot of work, guys. 11,000 pieces. My God. I kind of wonder what I got myself into. But. We do have kits as complex as this, it's gonna be a lot of parts involved. Same thing with this Tiffy here, a lot of a lot of parts involved to make sure it's a beautiful looking airplane model. Okay guys, this is Frankie Day signing off for now and please stay tuned for video number six to be the final reveal for the Stiffy Tiffy uh, group build of the one twenty four scale airfix Hawker Typhoon. And uh after that it'll be uh Titanic time. Okay, it's Frankie Day out of here. You guys be care, be careful, take care of yourselves, and make Mama happy always. And, and oh yeah, and I hope everybody had a very, very safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. And uh, none of us got, got got carried away, got thrown to Fuji, or got into a fist cuffs or something. I see that happen plenty of times. And uh, so I hope everybody had a nice, wonderful, safe Thanksgiving. And we got Christmas right now, preparatory for. Uh, oh boy. Stay away from those commercial cesspools, those big malls, guys. You're gonna have a lot of this I tell you, with this terrorist going down this country, I'm af I'm afraid. I'm very, very, very deeply afraid to even be out in, in, in big, large areas like that. Cause you got these terrorist attacks going on, guys, and and that's and that and that's what they uh, they more or less uh, they, they more or less feed on. On, that, on, on, on stuff on, on larger crowds, so I'm kind of skittish about that. Plus, I don't like being type of people anyway. I, I feel like I'm being pushed to the corner. And I can't get out, and uh, I get claustrophobia very easy when you get a lot of people around me. And uh, so, people, most people in general don't like to be around a bunch of people. So be careful staying away from those malls and stuff during Christmas time, guys, because it's going to be a lot of stuff going on and a lot of people going around there and stuff. I know it kind of kills away from Christmas, but but everything in life now they just got too big, too quick. So we all got to uh, we all live in the same same canoe. So we all got to pull the same oar together. Okay, I'm out of here. Enough of that jazz. And uh, so stay tuned for the final reveal for the Tiffy. And uh, Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> anyway, guys, take care, guys. I love you, fellows. You guys be good, guys. You guys take care of yourselves. Make Mama happy. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, boys.